everybody. This is Brian. And this is Janet. Welcome to the January edition of Around, Around the, the Lake. Lake. This is a video lineup of what's going on here in Mount Dora. And obviously you can see behind us, there's a lot of puppy action going on. We are at the monthly Yappy Hour. That's right. It happens every third Friday of the month right here on 4th Avenue, hosted by The Wine Den. And Piglet's Pantry. Piglet's Pantry. Hi, I'm at the Nam Fong Piglet's Pantry. I'm at the baker. I can show my scars and I bake all the dog cookies for 20 years. And I'm Carla and I'm the other owner here. Uh, we've had Piglet's Pantry here since 1997. Uh, tonight is Yappy Hour. We do it the third Friday of each month. It's a fundraiser for the human, local Humane Societies. 10% of the sales here at Piglet's Pantry and the Wine Den go to the Humane Society trying to help other animals uh, find forever home. We do uh, on the uh, high season. We take a summer break because it's too hot. So we do between September, September through May. And then we take a summer break because it's too hot for the dogs. And it's a beautiful night out with the animals. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 we store, we are open seven days a week, we close four days in a year. Christmas, New Year's, Easter, Thanksgiving. Four days we're closed, yes. That's it. We open seven days a week and 24-7 on, on the, the website. On the internet. Stop <laughs> touching my butt. Okay, so we've got quite a few events in the New Year's, and any of you in the sub-zero temperatures in the Northeast covered in snow, you're welcome to come and join us. It's probably 70 degrees. It is. And uh, we're loving life. I'm not sure why I wore my long sleeves. Oh, but by the way, <laughs> you know, a couple of years ago, we were getting some of the businesses to have us wear some of the clothing in the stores and then we stopped doing it because we were getting a little bit lazy and so we've decided to go ahead and start showcasing some of the outfits and this beautiful red outfit here this shirt actually came from Melina and Magda's boutique right here between Piglet's Pantry and the Wine Den. So if you're looking for an outfit like this, this beautiful shirt, you can get it right here in downtown Mount Dora. And you have a really nice purse that I you got from there. It. I don't know if she's still selling those handbags, but boy, that thing is beautiful. I wanted one for myself. Uh, a man purse? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wee doggy. Okay, Janet, January, there are some exciting events coming to the Mount Dora Community Building Theater, and you will not want to miss these. Brian, I gotta tell you what just happened. Okay. All right, so I was in the wine den during happy hour earlier, and a blind guy walked in with his seeing eye dog, and he picked it up by the collar 
the leash, and he started swinging it around the room. Oh my God. I know. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm just taking a look around. Oh. <laughs> no? Wah, wah. Oh, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Another monthly event right here in Mount Dora, if you want to walk around town, is the Monthly Art Splash. That's right, and that's every second Friday. It's a standing event, and the Art Splash features the art studios and art galleries of downtown Mount Dora, sprinkled in with some live street entertainment. Yep, that's right. And so local artists, uh, musicians, as well as people making jewelry and paintings and crafts. And 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Locations are identified with some balloons that will be put out, and you can get maps at any of the locations. Or you just walk around town. That's right, I mean, walk around town. Mount Dora is such a walkable town. Just park and then discover all the different places. Just and when you're done with the Art Splash, stroll on over to Donnelly Park and watch the movie on the big screen, the second Friday movie in the park. In Donnelly Park, not the same time as the Art Splash and the movie in the park, is the biannual Mount Dora, Florida, Highwaymen Art Show and Benefit. <laughs> Yeah, the Florida Highwaymen, and these are the original artists. There are a few second generation artists that will be coming Saturday and Sunday, uh, January 14th and 15th, uh, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's free admission. Mm -hmm. You get to meet the artists, interact with them, and uh, if you've got a painting, bring it. They love to sign their old paintings. We've seen some come in from the 60s, and I've watched them sign these paintings, so pretty awesome. Yeah. And on the other end of the block here on 4th Avenue, on the third Thursday of every month is the food trucks. That's right. So if you head on down from where we're standing and go down towards Sunset Park, there's a lot of food trucks there, 5.30ish till 8.30. 8 mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so then Friday night, January 27th, of course, we have the final Friday Wine Walk hosted by Norm's Palette. Right. Featuring businesses on this side of Donnelly Street, east side of downtown and you get to sample 15 or more wines from around the world for only $15. And if you yeah, and if you get your tickets online at mountdoorevents.com, you get a little bit of a discount. That's right. right. It's $5 off. It's 20 right. at the door. There you so go. So get your tickets in advance and enjoy some fabulous wine sampling. Yep. Okay, so we better let you know about an event happening right at the 1st of February so you can get it on your calendars. Save the date. That's right, save the day. The Mount Dora Arts Festival, one of the top rated art festivals in the entire country. 285 of the finest artists you will ever see will be here filling the streets that we're standing on. So make plans to come out and visit. Bring some money. Bring some money, you'll need Buy it. some beautiful things. <laughs> That's right. Then of course, let's not forget every Sunday, or most Sundays, barring a large event, we have the Mount Dora Village Market, and that's Mount Dora's open air farmers market featuring the farms from around the area and little craft items that are handmade by people and food items that you can purchase from local vendors. Right. And we're not supposed to mention that it might be moving. <laughs> Very good chance that in January it'll be part <laughs> of the downtown landscape. We're just waiting for some approvals. We gotta get approvals. Yeah, we can't just we can't just say that it's moving. We gotta, we gotta lift a little bit of the red tape, but I think it's probably going to happen. There's a lot of broad support for it, so yeah. stay tuned. So it's gonna either be in Evans Park or it'll be in Sunset Park. Sunset Park. Where the big Christmas tree is, was, won't be there right. if the market moves there. Right. So uh, that sums up the January events. Gave you a couple of teasers yep. for February and March. So yep. mark your calendars, come to town, always something exciting happening here until february this is brian and this is janet we'll see you around, around the, the lake, lake. you're in your pajamas ah. <laughs> this is just work outfits you're working out no this is just no, what we working. work in oh you're working where you work Oh, she's just a fashion blogger. So this is obviously the Gucci's newest bodysuit. <laughs> You're a, a blogger in Mount Dora? No, Gosh. I live in Ohio, but I'm about to be in LA. Oh, forget it. I can't put you on TV. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Mount Dora show. <laughs>